Hey everybody, Christopher Small here from Building a Law Firm. Hope you're having a great day, a great everything. I uh, wanted to talk to you about something that I actually just had a conversation um, a, a with a, a sort of a, a buddy of mine that's in the know about Facebook ads and budgeting. So, you know, if you know anything about me, you know I'm big on Facebook content and I'm big on putting some money behind that content. And by the way, if you want to uh, sneak, not sneak peek, if you want to deep dive into that process, that strategy, those tactics, and you basically want me to lay it out for you and show you how to do it, then please, please join me in Kansas City, April 5th, um, hosting a workshop. Go to q2workshop.com, uh, come and say hello. It's 1500 bucks, all right? Which is like one client, or a fraction of one client for most of you, all right? So if you're willing to invest a little bit of money to make a lot, then that's cool. Um, if you're not, that's okay too. There are people there that, that are. But anyway, I digress. Um, it's actually, I'm not digressing because that's, that's a good point. So um, one of the things that I was talking about with my buddy Nick was about Facebook ad budgeting. And it's always been kind of um, an anomaly to me what to do. I'm a little nervous about spending a lot of money. Uh, but I know if I don't spend enough money, it's gonna take me too long um, to, to get any results because there's a certain amount of work that needs to be done by the Facebook algorithm. And there's also just a certain amount, a certain number of, of views that's going to be need to be seen. You have to have your, your information in front of a certain number of people to just get the results that you want. Because you have to remember, this is a, this is a, this is a long-term game. This is a, this is a big game. And um, it's a it's a game where only percentage small percentages of the people are going to need you at any given time. So um, knowing that, you know you can't expect to turn your stuff on and have a fifty percent opt in rate or something like that, right? It just doesn't work like that. And so we were talking about budgets, and you know I was telling him what my budget was, which is small right now. It's like I think I'm spending, you know, in the law firm stuff, I'm probably spending. 10 bucks, 15 bucks a day. And, you know, I know that's not enough, uh, but I'm a little nervous about doing more. And he made a good point. And the point was this, he just said, look, you know, the way I usually try to do it is, I, I think, you know, let's, let's test an idea for a month. We're going to spend, um, as a budget, the amount of one client or sort of the amount that you would get up front if you had a new client come in and sign up. And the reason that you do that, because at least you're breaking even. So if the experiment is is only like mediocre, then you're still gonna break even because you'll get one client with that ad spend. And then you just take that amount and you divide it by 30 days and that's your daily budget. So for me, let's say a, you know, uh, an average um, estate planning client, for example, let's say the average state, estate planning client is $2,000. So you would take 2,000, and I'm doing this, uh, by the way, on my computer right now because I'm bad at math. So you take 2,000 divided by 30, $66 a day. So you would then portion that $66 a day out to your cold audience, to your warm audience, to your offers, and then you would start building all that up. And the goal is really at that point to get one person to sign up in a month. Because if that happens, then you at least break even. And if you have two people sign up, then you are way, way in the money. And that's just basically the way that, that you should do it, okay? That's one way to approach it. Now, if it's the last $2,000 that you have in your pocket, well, maybe you don't wanna do that, but maybe you wanna go and um, try some other marketing methods anyway because um, that's not good, it's no bueno. If you're just starting out, you know this is a great place to go because you're gonna build a brand, you're gonna get clients, you're gonna build expertise, trust, you're gonna have people coming to you. The, the beauty too of this, by the way, is that even if you have no one sign up, it's still not a failed experiment, it's still not a failed venture because um, the money that you put into this is gonna build you an audience of thousands of people that you can talk to again and again and again and then catch them when, they're at, when it's at the right time. All right, so um, spending money on Facebook should not be a scary thing. Uh, you just have to budget it right and then you break that out into a daily number. So take what the value of one good client would be and then break that out across 30 days and that's your budget. That's the easiest way to do it. The idea being that you should be able to at least sign up one new client with this methodology um, with that strategy. 
people with that budget. All right, that is it. Again, if you want to get some more information on this, if you want to dive in deeper, come and join me in Kansas City, April 5th, um, q2workshop.com. We'll, we'll give you a bunch of information about that. It's 1500 bucks, and it's going to be amazing. All right, so that is it. If you uh, um, have any questions, let me know. If you like this, hit the like button. If you know somebody that needs to re hear this, share it with them. And um, that's it. So have a great day, and I will see you again here tomorrow.